Hello friends and welcome to another video. Today's painting is inspired by this beautiful place close to where I live in Stockholm. We have had so far very cold and snowy winter and I'm taking inspiration from it as much as I can. I'm painting in my uh, watercolor sketchbook from Hane Mule. It's called Watercolor Book, 100% cotton, 250 GSM, thick, fine grain. I start by painting the sky in the wet on wet technique, meaning using a clean brush, I first wet the area where the sky is going to be and then apply the paint. I'm using a cerulean blue uh, with this round brush, I create these horizontal uh, marks and leave some white space in between to create the illusion of uh, clouds in the sky. Now using this paper towel, while the paint is still wet, I lift up some pigments um, to create more clouds. Now I pick some indigo and while that section is still wet, I add uh, some trees and let the paint to spread. This creates a nice faded effect, which is perfect for objects that are far away. I don't want to put too much focus on them. And if you feel like the paint has got too dark, too saturated, you can pick a paper towel and... Um, remove some paint and create also this nice effect or texture. Now this part has to dry before I continue and I use this heating tool to speed it up. You can also use a hair dryer. I will leave the specs for it in the description. And I tape down that area to create this nice line and um, this way I can paint much faster and uh, easier. So again, like for the sky, I wet this area where the water is going to be. I pick some indigo and cerulean blue and just uh, paint these horizontal strokes and leave some white spaces in between as well and just let the paint spread similar to the way I did for the sky
Now this part has also dried and I remove uh, the tape in the middle and using some of the cerulean blue, uh, very lightly I apply some shadows in the snowy area. With the same indigo color, uh, I add some ripples and reflection in the water. Now I'm going to add some yellow ochre to the sky and water so we have to be careful with this part because if the yellowish tones and blue blends it creates this greenish effect which we don't want so i do it very lightly just to add some warmth to the painting and also in my reference you can see some light coming in from the right side and with the super dark indigo just uh, with lots of pigments, I add this um, rocks, so what is below the snow. This also creates some more contrast, adds more contrast to the painting. And the same indigo I'm going to use to paint in the trees. I like to stylize my paintings a bit and usually don't go for uh, for realism. So here, for example, I create these uh, abstract shapes representing bushes uh, with the same indigo, just a bit more watered down so it becomes more translucent and you can see the layer behind. For the trees, these are the closest objects to us and in order to create a sense of depth I use the darkest indigo so these objects are darkest ones in the painting Now let's bring in some life by adding animals. So as you saw in the reference, there were lots of ducks and seagulls, um, but I'm not going to paint them all, just a few. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video so far. If you did, please support the channel by giving it the thumbs up so I can make more videos like this for you.
Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.